Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how I take apart the wheels for the Shark RV871 uh, and to clean them out. So preventative maintenance is important for robotic vacuum cleaners. I'm starting to see wheel failures oftentimes due to hair buildup getting uh, wrapped around the wheels and binding up the wheels and then causing the gears to strip out and stuff like that So if you want to follow along I will show you how I take them apart and clean them out as a means to prevent the wheels from uh, breaking too soon So um, I already have the battery out you can take this cover off with just a normal screwdriver And then you can unclip your battery um, you want to do that when you're working on stuff like this so uh, what you're going to need is a T15 um, screw head, a Torx driver, and we're going to start with this side here and take these wheels out. So you can follow these screw patterns here. Okay, you can go ahead and take off your side wheels, your little spinner brushes there, they just pop straight up. And then if you want to, you can also take off your, take out your brush roll. So then your wheel's gonna lift up. And once you get it out, there is a connector. And you're gonna just squeeze it to pull it out. And if you look at it, that's what you're gonna do. You're squeezing it to uh, unclip it and then you're gonna pull it out okay so you have one two three four five screws that you will have taken out to lift this out now that you've got your wheel assembly out we're going to um, take it out take the actual wheel and motor out of the frame here okay so the first thing you can do is you can disengage the spring and you can set that aside and you can see that it actually pivots kind of right in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push out this pin. So you can push it out from the from this side here and I just use like a little punch but you know a small small screwdriver will work as well and then you can see it slides out like that and then this will separate so that's going to give you now access to this side panel so you can take this panel off and you're going to need a smaller Torx screwdriver for this um, a size 8 so a T8 Torx will be what you're going to need next So then we can take off these small screws. And then this cover comes up. Now this one's actually pretty clean, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this gear off. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you can get a small flat blade screwdriver and just stick it in there and then just gently twist it and that's going to work this gear up out of place and you can set that aside and then you have a, a little pin that you have to separate so you're, you're going to need a tool like a little separator tool and This lifts up out of place. Careful not to lose it. And then your wheel slides out. And then you can clean out inside of here. So that's where you want to look. If you've got a lot of long hair and stuff, you can take this apart and clean that out. And then you're going to slide that pin back in place or that clip. 
and then push your gear back on like that and put your other gear back in place all right so yeah this one was clean um, but like I said the purpose is to show you um, who have if you've got a lot of hair and you have some wheel errors maybe um, this is how you can take this particular one apart and put it back together so next we're gonna just kind of go back in reverse order here and get our screws back in place all right and next you're gonna Stick your wheel back in the frame, just like that. And then you're gonna, with your tapered end of the axle going in first on this side, and then it just pushes in and then just like that. So then it's back to uh, pivoting perfectly and then you can attach your spring just like that. So that's how you take apart a wheel assembly and to clean it out. A lot of times you'll find some hair on the inside of this wheel um, and that causes it to get bound up and it can, eventually if enough hair gets in there it can cause some real problems because it's just not spinning it can cause the gears to strip out and so on and so forth so it's good to um, if you do have a lot of hair and stuff it's good to take these apart on occasion and clean them out so the same thing is for the other wheel assembly same steps that I took um, you're gonna plug and I'll just show you how to you know finish putting it back together um, but it's pretty simple so you're gonna plug your connector back in make sure you hear it click and then you're gonna drop your wheel just lower it back in place and then put your screws back in and then you're good to go so I hope this helps and let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.